Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Samson Data has won the 2023 Prague Pro, making him a two time Prague Pro champion and making this his third Pro win of the year. Huge congratulations goes out to Samson. In second place, we had a very good version of Michael Crizzo. Third place, making his Pro debut after just getting his Pro card yesterday. Rubiel Mascara, Nick Zilla. Fourth place, we had Nathan Diasha, and in fifth place was Jan Tarek. Xu Ming Yan placed in sixth, but he isn't shown in this image. And let's take a closer look at some of the footage from prejudging. This footage is courtesy of Rep1. I will put the link to the full video in the description below. And I want to start off by talking about Rubiel Mascara. Making his pro debut, this guy is the real deal. Rubiel got to stand next to the third and seventh best bodybuilders in the world, and he actually stacked up pretty well. I think he actually took a couple shots from Samson and Michael Crizzo. And let me know in the comment section below, would you guys have been upset if Rubiel would have placed in second at this show? Watching the show, I was a little bit worried for Michael Crizzo, but the only real drawbacks I see to Rubiel's physique, I think his arms are a little bit short, for his massive physique, but that's genetic, not much he can do, but he can probably add some size to the triceps. And of course, maybe the biggest drawback, Rubiel is a true freak. I think he's freakier than Nick Walker and Hassan Mustafa. And with that being said, Rubiel basically has no aesthetics. Now it isn't mandatory that you be an aesthetic bodybuilder to be successful, but we have guys like Samson Dada that have the mass and the class. And I said that Rubiel could use bigger triceps, but they look pretty good here. Just don't look as good in the front double bicep. Probably just a posing issue. But let's talk about Samson Dada who actually won this show. I believe Samson was slightly better at Romania and Prague than he was at the Mr. Olympia. And I think he was definitely more dry at both shows than the Mr. Olympia. Michael Crizzo, he brought a pretty good package to this show. Um, I'm not sure if Crizzo's midsection was a little bit full or if he was just having trouble controlling it, getting a little bit winded, but at times, the midsection just didn't look the best, sometimes in the front double bicep. Nathan Diasha taking fourth in this show. I said it's possible that Nathan has done too many shows, but I think he actually improved from Romania, but this is a tough fourth place for Nathan. Back-to-back -back shows where he places behind guys making their pro debut. And I don't think that Nathan was off by any means at this show. Again, I do think he improved on the package that he brought to Romania. Nathan just got outsized and outshaped in this lineup. And I wonder if Nathan Diasha will continue to compete or shut it down for a little bit. He still has to qualify for the 2024 Mr. Olympia. Yes, he won two pro shows, but that qualified him for 2023. But again, huge congratulations to Samson Dowda, two-time prior pro champion, Third pro win of the year following the Arnold Classic and last week's Romania Pro. Marco Crizzo in second place. Third place making his pro debut. And this guy will be a force in the future, I believe. Rubiel Mascara, Nexilla. Fourth place, the prophecy, Nathan Diasha. And we were all expecting Marcelo DeAngelis, Horse MD, to place top five at this Prague Pro. But unfortunately, Marcelo did not compete. He contracted some type of virus prior to the show. And in his words, he went to war with the bathroom. Speedy recoveries for Marcelo. He also pulled out of the Japan Pro, which he was supposed to be competing in as well. And let's switch over to Classic Physique. Erez Kalasinski adds another pro win to his resume as well, winning the 2023 Prague Pro, edging out a very good version of Michael DeBull. And I've been saying that all of these guys are improved from the Mr. Olympia, which may be true. But I'm also wondering, does pretty much every show have better lighting than the Mr. Olympia? You guys let me know in the comment section below. But congratulations to Erz getting a second pro win this year. And again, third best bodybuilder in the world. Whenever Chris Bumstead decides to retire, which may be soon because he has a child on the way, Erz Kalasinski and Ramon Dino are going to be fighting for their Classic Physique Olympia title. And huge congratulations also goes out to Ahmad Ashkanani who wins back-to-back -back pro shows. And Ahmad has been competing in 212 for a very long time, and he is still making improvements. Front double looks a lot better, quads also showing a little bit more detail. And last but not least, a few of you guys may remember, I mentioned one of my friends, John Lockett, who won a show not too long ago as an amateur, and today he competed for his pro card 
and won it at 22 years old as a natural bodybuilder in the classic physique division. I believe this guy has a very bright future. And of course, he will need more size to be truly competitive as a pro, but getting a pro card naturally at 22, still pretty impressive. But I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Christian from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.